Triage. The process of sorting patients into different acuity levels is essential to ensuring proper patient flow and resource allocation. However, long wait times, common in crowded emergency departments, can defeat the purpose of triage for high priority patients. Upon arrival to the emergency room, the patient is met by a greeter. If the greeter observes that the patient is not in need of urgent care, the patient is sent back to the waiting room and waits to be triaged, during which time a medical history form is filled out. In emergency departments, triage needs to be prompt, fast, and thorough in order to be effective. The problem is that in overcrowded emergency rooms, average wait times for triage can take up to 25 minutes, which, in turn, diminishes the effectiveness of triage and increases the risk of patient mortality. Triage is often performed in a designated room in the emergency department. Following the wait, the triage nurse records patient vital signs, which are temperature, blood pressure, heart rate, blood oxygen saturation, and respiration rate. No current vital sign monitor is capable of automatic respiratory rate spot checking and most require manual documentation of recorded vital signs. Collecting this information is time consuming for the triage nurse and often results in incomplete and error prone documentation. As a result, busy triage nurses skip or estimate some of the vital signs to save time. This renders vital sign information that is incomplete inaccurate and is prone to transcription errors. In overcrowded emergency departments, this disrupts patient flow and leads to improper triage. The Digital Triage Assistant is a mobile vital sign recording device that streamlines the triage process. With this device, a technician may record the patient's vitals anywhere within the medical facility. The DTA works as follows. First, a patient is issued a pre-generated barcode wristband that links to a new record in the patient database. The barcode is scanned into the electronic medical database with a PDA, accurately and automatically recording the patient's arrival time. Sensor status and helpful messages are displayed to simplify operation and report problems with the device. A respiration rate and temperature probe, blood pressure cuff, and pulse oximeter are then applied to the patient. The full, Comprehensive triage process requires less of the triage nurse's time and improves patient flow. The PDA displays the patient's vital signs in real time and automatically uploads the information to the EMR database. One of the advantages of the DTA over other vital sign monitors is its intuitive and multifunctional touchscreen interface on the PDA. Battery status for the device is also displayed on the main page. This interface uses large, color-changing buttons to record vital signs and indicate when the recording is in progress or complete. While vital signs are being recorded, other important triage observations can be quickly documented, such as pain level, mental status, skin color and temperature, speech, and respiration quality. Multiple tab pages allow for quick switching between display modes for patient identification information, vital sign data, and documenting other observations. The separation of device control and display from the acquisition device makes it much more mobile and versatile. Patient vitals can also be reassessed quickly and easily while they are waiting for treatment, allowing for changes in vital signs to be tracked accurately over time. Patient management software can be used to monitor patient status and ensure that they receive treatment or are re-evaluated at the appropriate time. The DTA would also be an ideal device for use in ambulances and by other first responders such as police officers. The PDA can connect to the wireless connection in modern ambulances, or a smartphone can be used to operate the device and connect to the hospital database through a GSM data connection. The DTA could also be useful in mass casualty scenarios, military triage, and sporting events. Information recorded by the DTA can be sent to the hospital before the patient arrives, streamlining the patient's treatment process. Patient vital signs can then be accessed from anywhere within the medical facility. This critical patient information is in the system much sooner, allowing for the most urgent patients to be identified earlier, thus reducing patient mortality.